Okay, so, welcome back. It has been a while since uh, since I've been recording and live streaming. I know it, it might be a shock that I'm back, but uh, it's, actually, it's actually really nice to be back. The reason this time for me not recording is that um, I actually need a proper mic for my PC or like an actual headset with a mic. This is the header we will be doing today, so without further ado, let's get to it. So, for this video, you will need a Valorant header assets pack that I created myself. Um, it is just skins and stuff you will need for the actual for making the actual header. Uh, you can just find other images online, but then you have to put them out or just do whatever. I, I did it for you here, so... There's a link, in, link to download this pack is in the description. And without further ado, I'm just gonna create a... So the file is 3000 pixels by 1000 pixels. And first things first, we're just gonna unlock the layer and change the color to a gray. So firstly, let's go into the pack and grab, you can grab any skin you like. And this one and this one. I'm gonna grab this one as I've done it. I've done the tutorial with this one already. Or I've planned the tutorial with this one already. And let's just grab it here and place it right there. And now for the actual font, you will need a font called Tin Man, I'm pretty sure. So just type your name out, whatever it is. I'm just gonna write name here and uh, just drag it or just uh, make it a bit bigger uh, you can see you can't really see that here but I'm just uh, making it bigger and just kind of stretching it out and let's place it in the middle and let's go into our Valorant header assets pack and go into the stuff you will need grab the third one and you can turn off auto select so it actually selects uh, I managed to do it just without uh, auto select off uh, surprisingly and I just dragged this out made it a bit bigger and next thing I did was just hit enter and I just pressed alt and dragged it on top and you can drag it like over uh, I just did this to like give it kind of an effect and um, obviously put it under the skin and the next thing we will do is actually grab our rubber and make it big and change the hardness to zero so I'll do that once again, but just uh, grab it on the bottom and uh, grab your rubber once more and just uh, delete that on the top. And now we will go into the bottom layer, which is the first layer that we put in, uh, just that, that one on, in the center and just rub out the center from it. We can now merge this. So to merge this, just press Control E uh, or press Shift. Uh, select all of them and press Control E. Uh, you can turn the opacity down uh, by a little bit, so it's just kind of subtle there. So we will now go into the Valorant header asset pack and grab this texture and make it a little bit smaller. And con press Control or press Alt and grab the layer and press Shift just to keep it in place. So first grab Alt, uh, press Alt and then uh, press shift as you're moving it. And now we will just rub uh, off the edges so it's not as harsh and it's not as like um, prominent, you know? Uh, we can see the texture, we can't see like the, the edges of it. So just like with the, the texture, uh, we will just uh, grab, first we grab the name, uh, put it on top and grab the layers that we just used and press shift and control e to merge it and we can change the blending mode to um difference i think i set it to right now it's linear burn but i'm pretty sure i changed it to difference so as i said i'm gonna change that to difference make it a little bit bigger you can play with the opacity as much as you like. Uh, I kept it around 30-ish and it kind of worked for me. So now what we're going to do 
is just a little bit of light and just make a new layer name it light and grab your brush make it a little bigger just like so and just keep it this way so it's just kind of like a light uh, actually we're, we're gonna go go into the pack again and just grab the smoke and it's actually it actually works very well because it's a blue smoke so grab this and put it a bit lower and to the right grab it again with alt and just rotate it a little bit just like so just so you can see the smoke and now we're gonna have to rub it out a little bit because you can see the edges so it just quickly do that we're gonna create a new layer on top of the texture layer and just call it a box and right now it doesn't matter how big it's gonna be or where it's gonna be as we can adjust it later but um actually press ctrl d on that and just do it again just make it a little bit bigger like so and fill it uh, press alt when you're trying to fill it and grab a color from the character so it actually fits in make it a bit lighter just like so and now you can press ctrl d so now you have the box and you can adjust it as much as you can um, i'm just gonna rub it out a little bit with the hardness set to zero once again and just so you can have like no edges on the side uh, you can keep this the edges on the top i'm gonna keep the edges on the top and you can also um, delete them if you want with the brush so soft light is what i'm gonna use here i'm gonna change the opacity down a little bit so you can't really see it uh, but it's still like a nice cool thing to have there Kind of brings out uh, the name a little bit so the next thing we will do is actually grab the name layer and um, control J you can actually uh, copy it in two different ways press alt and drag it on the bottom or press control J what we're gonna do is actually press right click you can put when you once you right click you have convert to shape and that's where you want to click you can now grab it and make it a lot bigger now we're going to go into the shape and press uh, on fill and change it to zero and press on the stroke and change it to two pixels make sure you press enter and change it to a white stroke and you can also change the opacity and uh, down a little bit so the next thing to do is we're going to go into the header uh, to the asset pack once more and grab this texture or a half tone, whatever you like to call it, and just grab it into our PSD. Grab your move tool, or not move tool, your selection tool, and change it to a circle. Press Alt and Shift together to make a nice circle. You can press your arrow keys to adjust it later, so it's actually in the center of the of your texture now what you can do is press ctrl j or even grab your selection tool once more and and you can press cut pixels and then delete the bottom layer as this is what will happen now you can make this smaller and just use it kind of like a and just kind of like I don't know, you can, you can do whatever you want with this. Uh, you can make it smaller, bigger, and put it in like different places. Uh, essentially, it's just kind of like a... I don't know, a like, cool texture. It's cool to have, to be honest. Um, it looks kind of like a 3D sphere. Do whatever you want with this. Uh, I changed the opacity down on a few of them and made them a little smaller. Uh, I turned off auto select as well. And I grabbed the smaller ones and just like duplicated them uh, everywhere by pressing alt and just moving them basically. So we will now uh, make a new layer and grab our brush tool and press alt on the purple just so we can make a few highlights. I know, just zoom out a little bit and uh, just brush in purple or whatever your color is, uh, depending on your skin, obviously, and just uh, grab it like in a few places. Now we're, what we're gonna do is 
change the change the blending mode to overlay. Overlay usually works best with this kind of stuff. But yeah, you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, depending on your preferences, you can always just mess around with it. Now go into the pack once again. And I press Alt and duplicate this once more, bringing it to the side. Uh, it actually kind of worked well because it's just kind of like a cool spiral effect there. But I brushed it out there, and you can also uh, put it under the character. It'll work the same way, to be honest. So now uh, I change the opacity down to about 40. Uh, I, I thought it just works best like that. And I did the same with the other one as well. So the next step is actually going into your skin and duplicating it by pressing Alt and moving it down. Uh, I will turn off the auto select once more, grab it down and just just move it down like like so. And uh, now we're gonna go into image, image adjustment, and go down and into threshold. It will show you like this lines and just kind of like mess around with it and you will just eventually end up with something like that. Now change the blending mode to divide and it will show it will make a really cool effect and uh, drag the opacity down so you don't see it that much and just erase the right right hand side. Do the same with the other side by uh, pressing alt once more on the character and dragging it down going into image adjustments and threshold you can mess around with this again and just go into blending mode divide you can also change the opacity down once again just so it's not as prominent now for the next step I'm gonna use my rectangular tool and just making this big kind of rectangle right there and uh, you can use blue here and uh, as you can see it blue is one of the stronger colors, but I, I chose to use purple for this one. And it works kind of well with this, and I show I, you can once again uh, use a different blending mode for this. But I chose to use vivid light for this one, and I just change the opacity down. It, it kind of looks good uh, with what happens here. Then I use the brush tool to uh, rasterize the layer along with with kind of brushing out the edges of the rectangle. You can now copy this to the other side and make sure you press Control T. Make sure you right click on your mouse and just uh, press flip horizontally. And that will just give you uh, this right there. Now go back into the pack and use this uh, Valorant logo, so it's just text. Uh, copy it into your PSD and make it um, tilted 90 degrees to the side. Uh, what we're going to do is press auto select and turn it off, and press alt while you're moving, and then shift. Make sure to press alt first and move, and then press shift because then it just uh, won't work it won't copy uh, your layers. So now press shift and click on the bottom one and group it and press do that again and just make it uh, smaller just so it fits. Now press alt and drag it over to the side and you can do once again a trick with control T but this time you have to do um, flip 180 degrees now go back into your pack and grab this logo make sure to center it down here under the name and move your arrow keys uh, down and just so adjust it just so it looks good uh, this looks good to me and I'll just leave it like this. 
Now go back into the pack and uh, select this stock, move it over into the PSD and move it to the side just like so and make sure to just erase the top part a little bit. Make sure to change the opacity down to about 20 or 30. Now go back into your pack and press on this flare. Grab it over into your PSD, make it a tad bit smaller, just so it fits uh, right there onto the spear. So just, you can tilt it on its axis, but when you do that, make sure to actually not do what I just did there. Make sure to grab this center and move it onto the center of the sphere or the spear and just rotate it on an axis. Now what we're going to do is go onto the skin layer and uh, create another layer. Uh, just go into your brush tool and uh, press alt and just do what I did just there. You can go into overlay, into the blending mode overlay. Now uh, do the same thing with the layer, just make a new one. But this time, uh, right click on it and create clipping mask and make the brush bigger and just do it on the edges here and delete or erase. And now erase uh, the part on the right. Now let's see, uh, let's grab uh, what you have here and move it up by two with your arrow keys. Go back into the Go back into the pack and select this. Make sure to have auto select off and not do what I did just there. And move it over into your header PSD and just center it. So now the next trick we can do is create a new layer on top of everything. Grab your paint bucket and just use a white color and make sure to Fill everything and you will go into filter, noise and add noise and you can add as much noise as you want. So now you can go into uh, your blending mode and change it to multiply. This is good uh, we're going to change the opacity down to about 90 and it's starting to just uh, look a little bit better now. Now just a few more touches. And let's go onto the top layer and go into the little half circle on the bottom and go into brightness and contrast. Change the contrast up and just leave the brightness as it is. You can change the brightness up, but I wouldn't suggest to do that. Just change the contrast up. And we can now go into uh, either hue saturation or vibrance. Uh, for this one, I'd recommend Vibrance. If you want to change the colors, you can go into Hue Saturation and change the Hue Slider. But we're going to go into Vibrance and change the Vibrance. You have Saturation in Vibrance as well, so um, I would just keep it uh, as is or even a bit less, but turn up the Vibrance a little bit. You can do one more thing and uh, go down onto the texture layer and create a new layer. And essentially what we're going to do here now is just a few highlights. So grab your brush tool and make a few highlights and uh, wherever necessary to be honest. Uh, I did them on top a little bit and I think I just left it there. So make sure to put it under the skin as you don't want the lights to be interfering. And you can mess around with it just a little bit if you want, but, but I think I'll just leave it as is. Uh, it looks good right now. So thank you for watching this simple tutorial on how to make a Valorant header. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on all my social, me social medias. And links will be down below. Thank you for watching once again, and see ya. We know I ain't ballin' yet, hoes wanna holler, oh no, I don't call them back Girl, let me see you, hold it down, we gon' have a blast Cause I just wanna know what you gonna do with all of that Ain't gotta say a word, I know what's up
you can have it all. Watch me rip it all.